so I presume you're Italian? On my dad's side, I'm also Dutch, German, English. I'm a mutt. This list is proof that some of Hollywood's finest actually come from the land down under. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Australian actors. What's your name? Fat Amy. Um, you call yourself Fat Amy? Yeah, so twig bitches like you don't do it behind my back. For this list, we've combined both actors and actresses who were raised in Australia, are associated with Australia, or who self-identify as Australian. Can't argue with that. You gonna join me? No. But I'm not gonna stay here either. It doesn't matter if they were actually born there, as long as their heritage is Aussie through and through. Never go out with us. If you do, you'll never come back. Right, well? <laughs> Number 10. Eric Bana. The gamma just unleashed what was already there. Unleashed what? Me. If there's anything this born and raised Aussie actor is particularly good at, it's being incredibly versatile. Hey, sweetheart, it's your papa. Is this my voice, darling? He's played a Romulan in the 2009 Star Trek film, an Israeli intelligence agent of German Jewish descent in Munich, and the Hulk. Plus, he lent his voice to a shark in Finding Nemo. He really doesn't mean it, you know, he never even knew his father! Jeez, is there anything he can't do? His range is truly unbelievable, as he can jump from an intense thriller to a science fiction film, then step into a rom-com and make those transitions look easy. Something about Mary. Oh, I love that movie. She's so funny. It's about shit my panties in that one. Perhaps he developed that skill by starting his career as a sketch comedian in his native Australia. You know what I think? It don't really matter what I think. Number 9. Hugo Weaving. Voila! In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. Though he was born in Nigeria to English parents, Hugo Weaving returned to Australia in 1976, and it's there he began his acting career in earnest. Although, ironically, his first major role was as a Brit in the Aussie series Bodyline. Cheers. Cheers. Today, he's known to many as the masked man in V for Vendetta. Good evening, the but this actor has plenty of other roles under his belt. You could have the power of the gods! His parts as Agent Smith in the Matrix movies and Elrond in the Lord of the Rings trilogy might not be the biggest roles in either series. You have only one choice. The ring must be destroyed. But they did get him more international attention than he'd had previously and paved the way for major voice and acting roles in many blockbusters. No matter what lies Askin told you, you see, I was his greatest success. Number eight, Mel Gibson. I will invade England and defeat the English on their own ground. Born in New York into a family with Australian heritage, Mel Gibson and his clan moved down under when he was 12. Free country, haven't you heard? Before long, Gibson was displaying that special something that eventually made him a Hollywood star while studying theater acting in Sydney. Hey, yeah, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> it was in 1979 that he took on one of the most iconic roles of his career in George Miller's Aussie action flick, Mad Max. Do you really expect me to go for that crap? That was the springboard he needed to succeed in America as a leading man first as an action star, and later as a producer and director. Never feel kind of up. He may have encountered controversy in his work and personal life, but this Oscar winner remains one of Australia's most famous acting exports. Hey, Max! That thing in there. That's not the goose. No way. Number seven, Russell Crowe. You would fight me. Why not? Born in New Zealand, but splitting his childhood between NZ and Oz, Crow settled in Australia for good at age 21 and, using his natural talents, began focusing on his acting career. Who are you talking to? Tell me who you see. How do you say Charles Herman in Russian? As an Australian actor's rite of passage, Crow took on a role on the Aussie soap Neighbours. His style's pretty funny, right? Yeah? If it's so funny, why don't we double the bits? And within a decade, he'd made his Hollywood debut alongside some A-list talent in The Quick and the Dead. 
but it was his work in 2000's Gladiator that won him the Academy Award for Best Actor and made his a household name. Are you not entertained? Although he doesn't hold Australian citizenship, Crow self-identifies as Australian and was recognized for service to Australian society and Australian film production with the Australian Centenary Medal in 2001. Could it be he's that old jailbird that the tide now washes in? Heard my name and started running, all the omens point to him. Number six, Heath Ledger. So, um, what's up with your dad? Is he, is he a pain in the ass? Born and raised down under, this Australian's show-stopping turn as the Joker in The Dark Knight was arguably the best performance of his career. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. It's truly a tragedy that Ledger wasn't alive to see the admiration that would come his way, culminating in a posthumous Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. I took Gotham's White Knight and I brought him down to our level. Prior to his death in 2008, this actor was known for his stylish performance in A Knight's Tale. What uh, color is my tunic? As well as for his intense work in the controversial Brokeback Mountain and his breakout role in 10 Things I Hate About You. So now I need to have a motive to want to be with you. Today, his legacy lives in the Heath Ledger Scholarship, awarded to deserving up-and-coming actors in Ledger's native Australia. How you like that, huh? Come on, you tough guy now? Are you tough? Number five, Errol Flynn. So you know my name. A lot of contemporary movie fans might not be familiar with him, but back in his day, this Aussie-American actor was considered the very definition of smooth and suave. Ah, then you blame Prince John. No, I blame Richard. His task was here at home, defending his own people instead of deserting him to fight in foreign lands. Though his lavish lifestyle and well-publicized love life often got more attention than his acting skills, in the right role, he was unbeatable. Now I'll take this rod to you until there's not an inch of hide left on your dirty carcass. Another beating? Faith, this will be a good half dozen of them you've given me, in promise. His presence in swashbuckling movies through the 30s and 40s made him a superstar in his time. Unfortunately, major financial woes depleted the fortune he had made, and Flynn died an untimely death at the age of 50. If the great white father gives word to my brother's people, then long hair and his long knives will defend black hills against all white men. However, his reputation as one of the first famous Aussies in Hollywood persists. Now this forest is wide. It can shelter and clothe and feed a band of good determined men, good swordsmen, good archers, good fighters. Number four, Hugh Jackman. Kids come for more than a week. Have half as good a chance of being found. And after a month, almost none are not alive. All right, so forgive me for doing everything I can. Born, raised, and educated in Australia, Jackman began acting as a hobby and parlayed his natural charm, talent, and good looks into a career. You like her, don't you? Who? Kate. You oh, do? Charles. You Charles. like my sister? Well known to theater fans for his frequent Broadway appearances, to many others, he's immediately identifiable as Wolverine of the X-Men. You must be Wolverine. That remarkable medal doesn't run through your entire body, does it? At ease playing romantic types just as much as action heroes, Jackman is as diverse an actor as anyone. Lady, this ain't trotting in Kensington Gardens. His impressive star turn in the film of the Broadway musical Les Miserables even netted him a well-deserved Oscar nomination. My soul belongs to God, I know. I made that bargain long ago. He gave me hope when hope was gone. With personal appeal and charisma that extend beyond his work in film, Jackman has become one of Australia's most famous actors working today. You want to know why she gave me the boot? Yeah. Because I wouldn't stop Nala from going walkabout. Number three, Kate Blanchett. You are a ring bearer, Frodo. To bear a ring of power is to be alone. She gives stellar performances time and time again, and they've translated into Oscar-worthy success. Born in Melbourne and graduated from Australia's National Institute of Dramatic Art, Blanchett's breakout role in 1998's Elizabeth brought her the first of many Academy Award nominations. It is unfortunate, however, that at this time the Duke's aunt, Mary of, of Guise, chooses to garrison Scotland with French troops. She's won Hollywood's highest honor twice, for her roles in The Aviator, where she played Katherine Hepburn. I'll take the wheel. 
and Blue Jasmine. Okay, okay, you always have to meet those stupid, sarcastic dicks. Making her the first Australian ever to take home two Oscars for acting. To prove just how diverse her acting is, she even played Bob Dylan in I'm Not There. And she did a pretty darn good job of it, too. Well, I'm all used up. Yeah. Number two, Jeffrey Rush. This fellow could really be somebody great. Following his Oscar-winning performance in the Aussie-made film Shine, where he played pianist David Helfgott, Rush had all of Hollywood at his fingertips. He's since become a member of the Triple Crown of Acting Club, with an Oscar, a Tony, and an Emmy in his list of accolades. In addition to the Australian Centenary Medal, Australian Film Institute Longford Life Achievement Award, and Australian of the Year honors. Well, that will have them rolling in the aisles. More Oscar nominations have followed, including a nod for his role in The King's Speech. You're very much your own man, Bertie. Your face is next, mate. But many contemporary moviegoers know Rush more for his memorable performances as Captain Barbosa in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Son, six people are dead, and someone has to pay for it. <coughs> now it can be you, or it can be Ray. <coughs> What's happened? Tell me, is it Jodenheim? Let me explain to father. Father is dead. There. That stone belong there, boss. It's been kicked away about two hours ago. When I lived in Pauper Spit, I'd just stay in my room for hours and listen to Abba songs. Sometimes I'd stay in there all day. How old are you, Andy? Twelve. I think that makes you the youngest person in the entire country. Number one, Nicole Kidman. A savage, yes, Mr. Carney, but you and I both know that my husband was not killed by an aborigine. Though she hasn't been as active in recent years, Kidman's acting resume supports her position at the top of this list. And call me Chase. By the way, do you have a first name or do I just call you Bats? Born in Hawaii to Australian parents and settling back in Oz at age four, Kidman used acting to overcome her shyness. Oh, dude. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. Oh, beautifully spoken to you. Yes, let me introduce you, the writer. The writer. If leading roles in movies like the musical Moulin Rouge, Stanley Kubrick's final film Eyes Wide Shut, and her Oscar-winning turn in The Hours are any indication... Someone has to die in order that the rest of us should value life more. She's got the talent and appeal to cement her place as one of the most acclaimed and most famous actresses in the world. Not just Australia. I need you to stay with me, and if you can't do that, then I... I would prefer it if you didn't return. With numerous major awards and nominations under her belt, Nicole Kidman's sterling reputation is truly well-deserved. I'm paid to make men believe what they want to believe. Do you agree with our list? All shall not be Which Australian actor or actress is your all-time favorite? That's not nice. That's a night. With new top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You complete me.